two for 29. This is over number 14. Ian Bishop has come on in place of Kirtley Ambrose. And it's a real struggle for Pakistan. The bowling figures, Marshall six overs, one for 11. Here's the first ball for me and Bishop. Into the commentary box now, Ian Chappell and with him is Jeff Thompson. Thanks Richie. And uh well, an assortment of good afternoon and uh, good morning right around Australia. Quite a pleasant day here at the Gabba. Not so pleasant for batsmen, though, because uh, the West Indies have made it very difficult for them in the first 15 overs. I know the theory is to uh, score as many as you possibly can in the first 15 overs. That's why the West Indies are so good at uh, this cricket. They've got the opening batsmen to do that, but they've also got the bowlers to stop the opposition from belting you around in the first 15 overs. They have given a few extras away. So welcome to the commentary position to Geoffrey Thompson, a man who could bowl pretty quick himself. I guess uh, you've been enjoying watching some of these West Indies work uh, this summer, Tomo. Yes, Ian, uh, good morning to everyone. Uh... No, it's been great watching them this summer. I mean, uh, a lot of people are complaining about the West Indies bowling, but myself being a fast bowler, I've, I've really enjoyed it because I think they're great exponents of it. Bishop is a, a young man who's learnt a lot on this tour. Bowled extremely well in Perth against uh, Pakistan. Picked up five wickets. Five for 27 in that match. And basically forced his way into this side through that performance. Carl Hooper at mid-on. It's well run. Got his chance through uh, injury to Malcolm Marshall. He certainly made the most of it. I should say it was uh, Kirtley Ambrose that was sick in Perth. That's how he got his first opportunity. But uh, taking five for 27, he's been able to hold his place in the side. well played it's two for 32 four to armor two to Javid batsman really having to struggle out there for runs Big appeal from Winston Benjamin against Armour Malik in the last over. Winston Benjamin is not happy. That's edged and dropped by Viv Richards. So Armour is uh, having a bit of luck. Fine delivery here from Bishop, a little bit quicker. 
And Viv had just caught Viv, which is a bit unusual unawares, and it got onto him a bit quicker than I think he imagined, and uh, he, consequently the ball's come out behind him. So a bit of good fortune there for Armour Malik, dropped by Viv Richards at first slip. And Winston Benjamin was most unhappy at the end of the over. He refused to originally to take his cap from umpire Bailey, but then eventually grabbed it. There's certainly a bit of noise there. Jeffrey Dujon wasn't in any doubt that it had been edged. Wide pulled there by umpire Cole Timmons. Yeah, Benjamin originally uh, refused to take his cap from umpire Bailey, and then changed his mind, went back and really snatched it from the umpire. So he obviously wasn't too thrilled about not being uh, rewarded with a wicket. Just looking at it on the replay, and there wasn't much else around bar the bat that it could have hit. And uh, I sort of had the bat angled a bit forward, so it might have just ran up the face a bit quietly. But I mean, it's hard enough for us, for us here with slow motion replays and everything. I mean, how hard is it for the umpire out there anyway? The umpires are being pretty hard on the bowlers. They're not uh, being in any way lenient at, at all. Mind you, I think that was a fair call. It was a, probably a couple of foot wide of the stumps. That might have been close when I was bowling in my days, but, but I think that was fair enough, Ian. Yeah, I think that's quite reasonable to call that. It's at least two foot wide of the off stump. That's well taken by Geoffrey Dujon. One of the worst things that can happen for a wicketkeeper is when the ball swings after it gets past the batsman. That's exactly what that one did. Yes, very late swing there. I think there's a bit of frustration creeping into the bowlers at these last couple of overs with a few missed dismissals. It's two for 37. Viv Richards won the toss here at the Gabba, sent Pakistan in. Malcolm Marshall at third man. It was interesting talking to Malcolm Marshall this morning and he said that the West Indies like playing here more than anywhere else in Australia because the, the outfield is so soft, there's no trouble with the legs, the ankles and they, uh, they also like the size of the ground but he thought that the outfield was really easy on the legs for a fast bowler. Mind you, Ian, they wouldn't have to spend too much time in the outfield in most games anyway. But I do agree with him on a serious note. It is a fine ground. It's, we get a lot of rain here in summertime and a lot of growth, and it's, it, it is really good on your legs when you do have a long session in the field. And also another advantage, probably, when you think back over the years, is the lushness of growth on the ground and the wicket being fairly grassy as well. Normally, as the shine stays on the ball longer, 
and most of the ground has got these signs all the way around it so if the ball does hit the fence it doesn't get knocked around too much as in wooden fences or other fences that are around Australia as well and there's no concrete gutters before them. Excellent delivery that one from Ian Bishop. Well, the spectators are very close to the action here, and so also uh, are the photographers. Viv Jenkins is the man who shoots the cricket for the PBL publications. And if you want to have a look at uh, any of Viv's work, you'll find it in there amongst those publications that are available this summer. Doug Walters uh, has a book out at present, One for the Road, doing extremely well. That uh, book. Some of uh, Doug's anecdotes on the uh, game of cricket. The Cricket Yearbook for 1988. And the tour guide available at 4.95. It's a good over there from Ian Bishop. Two for 42. Wide signal there. They've been quite severe on the West Indies today. Umpires Timmins and Baylash. It's uh, umpire Timmins at the Stanley Street end. That one pitched around about leg stump but ended up... Uh, being quite wide by the time it reached Dujon. Not that that's really when you measure it. You measure it when it goes past the batsman. 16 wides, four no balls. Haynes, the fieldsman. Still a little bit uh, of movement out there. I think that... Uh, groundsmen here, the ground staff here have done very well. I still believe there's just a little bit too much grass on the surface. Kevin Mitchell um, has a nice flat surface. Yeah, believes that you've got to be very careful not to roll these pitches when they're too damp. Hence, it's nice and flat. There are no waves. The last thing on earth you need is uh, a slightly wavy surface. Oh, that's got to be a wide. That's a big wide. And they've really bowled a lot of in-swingers with this breeze coming across from cover now to square leg. Pushing the ball into leg stump and the ball swinging well away. It's very wide of the stumps there. He's obviously going to push the ball down leg side. There's no doubt in old Timmins mind that was a wide. Got away very, very quickly off the bat and into the fence it goes again. Malik plays that shot pretty well. Anything just a little bit wide, he should perhaps go for a few more. Yes, he certainly does cut well. Bishop's not slow, he was beautifully into position. He's well balanced on the back foot. His first movement's back and he goes back again. He just helps it on its way with perfect placement. That's a beautiful shot. Wasn't very wide of third man, but it hit so well. And another wide, and this could be four. Off the fingertips there. Four wides signaled by umpire Timmins. This is helping Pakistan. Must be a worry for Vivian Richards, his bowlers today. They played so well throughout the series, but all the bowlers losing control. Spraying the ball down the leg side. 21 wide, it's unbelievable. A good, fine, warm day. Starting out so wide, and the angle there is, is due on no chance at all. And uh, that one kept just a little low. Batsman had no idea, it was a long way away from this. 
Nicely quick at delivery and through the gate it goes.